everybody, it's Akita Vango Show. I'm here if you guys are having an amazing day. So today we are watching the third episode of Hawkeye called Echoes. I'm super excited for this episode. Obviously, we got two episodes last week and they were amazing. What a great start to a new show. And Marvel... You know, they, they haven't disappointed in their shows so far. They've been pretty good. And especially because I, I have such an open mind towards them. Like, yes, not all of them were perfect. I think, in all honesty, my least favourite of all the shows was probably Loki. Um, but... Overall, like, I'm, I'm glad that they're dipping their, sort of, like, their toes into experimentation with these TV shows, seeing where they can push it, and um, where they can push it further in the movies as well. So, I'm so excited to see the rest of Hawkeye, and I'm enjoying it already so far, so I cannot wait for what else is in store for us with this show. But anyway, we're going to be watching this episode. Um, yeah, let's jump straight into it. But before that, please remember to like, subscribe, and comment if you enjoyed this video, but also keep up to date with all my other reactions to more TV shows, movies, and video games. So without further ado, let's jump straight in. Oh! I thought it was going to be Vincent D'Onofrio, and I was like, <gasps> I, think was, I think that's his name? I just know his first name is Vincent. daughter or is it the niece wait i need to check again echo is she the daughter or is she the niece because now because he said uncle will take you home so it's like wait oh dude <laughs> adoptive daughter okay oh my god is that vincent now i'm like hyped up dude what the Oh, I love that, dude. Thank God for Marvel. Like, I'm just gonna say it now. Especially, I haven't seen Eternals much, but with, I think her name's Makari, and even with Echo, the fact that they're bringing in these superheroes that, you know, have these uh, um, impairments, like hearing impairments, and even, like, I, th I, I'm, I can't remember if there's anyone with eyesight impairment. Well, I mean, in the X-Men, what's his name? Cyclops? Yeah. He technically has an eye impairment. Technically. Um, but then, like, bringing all these different superheroes into the Marvel Universe, it makes me so happy to see this sort of representation, because we don't see this a lot in media. And for kids who are deaf or, you know, who do have prosthetics and um, this sort of stuff, like, it makes me so happy because it makes them feel that they are powerful as well. That they can be just as strong as these women and men who are on the screen. Like, that makes me super happy. But anyway. Oh my god. Why? Oh my god. Or maybe she will. Here she comes. Oh, she's gorgeous. Because she's dead. So who got him that? Oh. She's making- he's making a convincing story. Oh! Yeah, she just thinks that she's- that Kate's the Ronin. That's fair enough, though. Nice, dude! Oh! Oh! That would've hurt. Oh! 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 Jesus! Oh, Lord! Jesus! Oh, God! She's great! Oh! <laughs> oh, nice girl. These are really well choreographed fights. I love this. Whoa. Is this gonna be a what? Oh my. What? How did they film this? Dude. Oh my. How did they film this, dude? I'm honestly like. I hope they do the behind the scenes for this and they show this.
Yes, Kate! Oh, yes! Why shoot up? PYM. Holy shit! Also, I just had to reshoot a little bit of um, the actual episode just because uh, the my capture thing stopped working. But I just realized P Y M is Pim, so I just realized why. Because even as I was watching it, my whole thing froze. I didn't realize what happened to the arrow. It just went super large. That's sick. I love that so much. That's so awesome. Oh, that's so cool, dude. I have to pause. That was phenomenal pacing in fighting. I think that's one of the best, like, I think fight scenes we've seen throughout any of the TV shows so far. Like, the pacing sometimes is pretty off with fighting scenes and stuff. Movies, they usually get it right because they know how to do it. But, you know, even with shows, they sometimes struggle because obviously with the episodes and stuff, that was perfection. Like, the climax of that, like, from the car, then stopping on the bridge, and then the explosions and everything. Mwah! Perfect. Love it. Home tonight for- Oh. Yeah, that's it. Oh boy, I got to tell you, I miss you so much. Can't be home for- Oh. Oh, why? I mean- this just shows, again, like, because this is, we never saw any of this in the movies. It makes me so sad and makes me connect with him so much more on a deeper level when we see this. Like, and also just because he's so human. I know that sounds very generic to say or very weird. He is such a great character and I'm so glad we get to see this characterization now. Like, you just see how much he loves his family and tries to put his family first before being a superhero. But it's so hard and difficult and you can see like how much it's impacting him because he wants to be there for his family. He wants to be here or there, sorry, for Christmas. He wants to spend time with them and like show them how much he loves them as a father and stuff and as a husband and like, oh, it's just heartbreaking. And also because like the hearing thing, like I can't imagine what he must be feeling either. Like not to be able to hear his son's voice. Oh, that like, oh, that tugs on the heartstrings a lot and just, yeah. I'm excited to see, like, what else they do with the show, with Clint, and to see more of a vulnerable side with him. But anyway, let's go. Oh, <laughs> dude. Uncle. Dude. We have- Dude, it's the- Literally putting it on the table that we might- If he finds out, he's going to show up. Like- Okay, anyway. We know who it is. You do not want to mess with Kingpin. They totally filmed Outlander here. I swear to God. It looks exactly like the place. From season two. <gasps> Wait, what? Oh, that went so quick. Wow, what an episode. <laughs> that went so quick. What? Oh, damn it. I was I wanted it to go up to 50 minutes again, even though it takes so long to edit. It's so good, dude. Oh my goodness. Wow. That was great. I absolutely loved the episode. It was so good, like very high action and also a lot of s excitement because of Kingpin. Uh, hello, he was like referenced so many times um, and I'm hoping we get to see him soon. But yeah, um, oh dude, that's so awesome. But anyway, um, what was I gonna say? Shit. Um, yeah, this episode was absolutely amazing. The choreography in terms of fighting was absolutely amazing. Echo was phenomenal. I love her. I love that whole intro was 
beautifully paced, beautifully written. Just all the dialogue for that and even just the um, ASL. I think that's what it's called. Apologies if I'm saying it wrong. But perfect. So well done. Um, and just, just the pacing of the whole episode was just so good. Episode was just so good. Like, I just... It went, it flew by because I was enjoying it so much. Um, yeah, there's so much to unpack there. So, like, everything with Echo, I love the whole relationship between her and her father. It was so wholesome and so sweet. Um, and I love how we got to see her sort of grow stronger and, you know, like, like obviously adapted to, you know, the fact that she was deaf and... She just, she uses it to her advantage. And sort of like the father said, like, you have to live between two different worlds. And just, that was such a great analogy. I love that. And I love the way that she fought as well. It was just so good. And just how she made, again, this is sort of, this sort of reminded me a little bit of, like, Last of Us Part 2, Abby. Where, you know, like, she got so strong that she built her body into a weapon. Like, she uses it. And this is the same with Echo, essentially. Like, <clears throat> obviously she has a prosthetic leg, but... She still built her body strong enough so she could use it as sort of like um, a weapon. And also she uses her prosthetic to her advantage by blocking Clint when she was fighting him, which was just so good. Um, and also, um, yeah, just, yeah, I'm excited to see what they do with her in the rest of the series of Hawkeye and also in her own series. Um, I'm guessing we're going to see her sort of rise in the ranks in her own show, but I love how we're getting, like, a preview into who she is now and seeing, like, her, not her relationship with Uncle, but more, like, sort of, like, how she's dealing with that, or sort of, like, the hierarchy and stuff like that. Oh, this is going to be so good. I'm so excited. Um, but yeah, everything else, the, the tracksuits were so good. They're so funny. Uh, but also just the action with them was so well done, so well paced, and that car, like, one shot film like that was so good and um even that whole bridge fight was so good and I love that like I inclusion of the Pym tech like obviously like obviously Ant-Man obviously being friends with everybody in the Avengers he gave obviously tech to um Clint which was so cool and I love that in like integration into it like it it's not even like sort of like interaction between superheroes um but it's more just like you you're getting the fact that they're still in contact and they're still sharing like technology. That's so cool. I love that. And then just Clint again, like the, his characterization. We didn't get a lot, obviously, in the movies. He was very much like the one who was like pushed aside. They didn't really care about his story. But I'm glad now we're getting to sort of unravel him as a character, seeing him more as a father and seeing how much his, I guess, like the fact that he is deaf now, like how much that is affecting him and how he's going to have to... I guess come to the conclusion that he does need to accept it and sort of like what Echo does use it to his advantage um I think soon he'll have to use it and get used to it um but yeah but that scene where he's talking to the son and he can't hear him and he said like oh I miss like I've missed your voice and stuff like that I was like oh my god dude like my heart like again like I can't like I'm so like I'm just gonna say like I'm so blessed with like like being able to hear I have poor eyesight but you know that's like whatever but like I can't imagine what it must be like to not be able to hear like that. Every time I see like films or documentaries about like, you know, like that sort of stuff, I'm just like, it breaks my heart. But then I love how that's represented in media such as Marvel and even superheroes and stuff like that. I love that. It's so cool and so well done. I'm enjoying this show so much and also, yeah, nervous about what's going to happen in the next episode. Whether it's a good thing or a bad thing, like, ugh, I can't remember the fiancé's name. I keep forgetting. I need to actually go back and write down all the characters' names down. But, um, yeah. So I, I, oh, I hate, but I also love the parallel of him being held like, at sword point, by his own sword, by the Ronin sword. Like, oh, that last bit was so good. Mwah. Just so good. I love it so much. And also the fact that Kate was locked out of that account. Was that the mum or was that somebody else? Who knows? Um, but yeah, that guy, I don't like the fiancé. I said that last episode, I really do not like him. It went so quick. Now I want another episode because it's just so good. But... Yeah, I'm guess. well, when is it? Yeah, it's soon. Not soon, but it finishes in- the show finishes already in like three weeks, I'm pretty sure. It's not many episodes for this series. Pretty sure it's only six from the top of my head. Because then Boba Fett starts on the 29th, 
I think the same day this finishes, so that's gonna be a big day for me. But yeah, I'm super, super excited for the rest of this show. But again, I know I keep bringing it up, but Kingpin... Oh, dude, like, I swear to God, like, I know, like, I keep saying, like, I've got to be fine if he's not in it, but dude, Vincent, who was in the Daredevil series, in case people don't know that, he was beautiful, perfect casting as Kingpin. And just, you know, like, Kingpin is one of my favorite, like, especially, I, I also didn't realize that he was, a, like, a villain towards Hawkeye, but, um... With Spider-Man, like, I was like, oh my god, yes, and that can sort of lead into if Spider-Man gets a TV show, or he gets, like, a, a like a cameo on, like, a, a show, certain show, come, dev Daredevil, um, <laughs> then he could maybe meet Kingpin, and then, you know, but, oh, dude, Vincent is just the best Kingpin, and I just want one more time, like, just to see him, not even in this series, but, like, one more Daredevil series where we get to see him... And also Charlie Cox back at, as, um, obviously Daredevil. Um, I would really like that just because that show is one of the best well done Marvel shows ever. Even though I know it was like a Netflix Marvel show. I really want them to bring it back. And just one last season, please. Just finish it off. Because obviously Echo does have a connection to Daredevil later on in the comics. So, you know. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that would be really cool if he does pop up in her show. But, um... Dude, I would love it if Vincent popped up as Kingpin. Like, please. Like, that's, like, my one, like, Christmas wish. Please let him show up. It would be so good. And also, I forgot to say, I have booked my tickets for Spider-Man. And I am going to watch it on the day it comes out here in Oz. I have to be careful there were spoilers. Because obviously the 15th, that's when it goes out in the UK, I think. And in other countries. Uh, some countries. It's, like, very split up, this particular premiere don't know why but obviously because of different time zones and stuff but yeah I'm going to go see it on the 16th and I'm going to be releasing obviously a review of it when I when I do get the time I am going on holidays I think that week so it's perfect um I'm also just quickly very sorry that Shang-Chi review is a bit late uh, I'm stuck with a massive assignment it's a lot bigger than I anticipated, so I'm trying to finish it as fast as I can so I can edit the review. Like, I filmed the review last week, and then I was like, okay, cool, I can do it on the weekend, and then I realized how big my assignment was, so then I was like, oh crap, I actually need to get this done, and I've just been working on it every single day. So I apologize for that. That is coming, do not worry. I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to do Eternals, No Time to Die, and also Dune, but I really want to go watch Dune, so hopefully I can either watch it end of the year or even beginning of next year so just know that those reviews are going to be pretty late i know that eternals is coming out i think on my birthday so that will be pretty cool but at the same time i'm like uh you know but yeah sorry i just wanted to say that because i've been thinking about it so much because i love my channel and i want to do more reviews but it's just you know life's getting in the way it's just super busy so i wanted to let you know that i want to do these it's just not enough time <laughs> i mean like Again, like, a lot of people are speculating, not next week, but the week after when Spider-Man hits cinemas, that's when we're going to see Vincent on, in the show. So I was like, mm. <gasps> dude, oh god, I cannot wait for more episodes of this show, dude. It's making me super excited. But anyway, I'm going on a bit of a tangent. I need to stop, because otherwise I'm just going to keep speculating about what's going to happen. And, ah, uh, like, I absolutely love shows like this, like Spy Crime and stuff like that. So, like, this is already becoming something I'm really enjoying. Um, and again, like, if you haven't watched the show and if you're somehow, for some reason, here... Go and watch the show, because it's so good. But anyway. So thank you guys so much for watching this reaction. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Please give a like, subscribe, comment, and tell me your thoughts on this episode of Hawkeye. Uh, again, absolutely amazing episode to wrap this up, obviously. And just, I'm so excited for what else they have in store for us. So again, thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Crazy Fangirl out. Woo!